Well guys, it's not a secret that the Los Angeles Dodgers are in a slump. They lost three of those four games in San Diego and have only won two of their last ten games. It's their offense that is struggling right now. The Dodgers have only scored 28 runs in these last 10 games. Today they start a three-game series with the Arizona Diamondbacks here at Dodger Stadium. And if they want to turn around this slump, that will need to start getting hot again, scoring runs like they did just a month ago. It's a good club. They're playing very well. Um, they play the game the right way. They can pitch. Um, they've got a great uh, athletic nucleus who can who can score runs. Uh, so for us, Robbie Ray has had our number. So we, we got to figure out a way to uh, unlock the code. And uh, tonight we expect to be the night. So to so to be back home is is a good thing. There's a lot of energy. Guys are excited to kind of sleep in their own bed. So um, to have seven days at home, obviously we play well at home. It's good. And Robert said that Corey Seager needs a little bit more time to recuperate from that elbow injury. He wants to make sure he is 100% to come back to the field for the postseason. You know, there's no particular date that we have him slated to come back. Um, I, I know that we're targeting that uh, Colorado series. So whether it be uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you know, it's all contingent on Corey and uh, his health. The Diamondbacks are on a 10-game winning streak, including three games against the Los Angeles Dodgers. They lead the National League in the wild card standings, and there is a big chance these two teams will meet in the postseason. This series is big for both teams right now. Starting for Arizona today will be Robbie Ray, and for the Dodgers, Rich Hill will take them out. It's kind of been weird. It's kind of been sporadic, so it hasn't been like killing one day and then all of a sudden like hasn't been up or down or anything it's just it's just kind of weird just kind of feel it for a sec and then I won't feel it for a while and then it will kind of pop up and then be gone for a while so I mean I think the best thing is it hasn't affected preparation or the game and um, you know, as I've been playing through it can continue to do that and will if I have to but hopefully it'll just you know with some rest for a couple of days now we'll get back to 100% or close to it. It was really unreal. Uh, I don't know how many times it's happened in Major League Baseball history. I think uh, I heard somebody say 26 times. So we were part of history today. And, you know, you, you can't believe it after it keeps happening, you know, the second and third and finally the fourth time. It, it, it was amazing. But JD works as hard as anybody at his swing, uh, perfecting his craft, and deserves that moment. His stuff was coming up very crisp, and he's been prepared and ready and doing his job ever since he's returned from, from his injury. And every time he takes them out, I think he wants to have outings like that. The, the fastball command on both sides of the plate, a number of strikes, um, and the breaking ball, you can see it was swing and miss. So Robbie um, did a great job. It was a close game for a long time, and he kept a very offensive team in check uh, once again and, and helped us play the way we want to play. You know, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's one of those things where, you know, you work real hard to kind of just find that perfect swing and find, you know, one of those, like, one of those days where everything just kind of lines up and you know today I felt like this was one of those days you know I felt like I was seeing the ball well um, and you know when I was swinging I was hitting them so oh uh, yeah I mean all my pitches were working really well uh, fastball curveball slider all of them um, but yeah I mean that's been the big pitch for me this year is my curveball it's allowed me to, to have another weapon to, to get guys out from Dodger Stadium, this is Claudia Gester for the LA Post Examiner.